It's not the line I'm worried about, it's the hooks. Which is going to be an issue when I have to actually pull it up. It's probably not that big, but on this gear... It's giving me curry. Oh, he's away. I have hooked something in the Calgon. I'm assuming it's a Mulloway. And it's giving me what for? I've got a rolling bait on and a very small hook. Very fine gauge hooks on the rolling bait. So I'm trying not to pull the hooks by taking it gentle. That's where it's towed me from over there. It's uh, It's got to be a Mulloway, surely. Never caught a decent Calgon Mulloway. Oh, thumps on the line there. I don't like that. I just want to see it. It's been a great little session on brim here. They've really been firing. And it's just last half hour, it's really taken off. Caught two brim over, well over 30. Got a uh, silver brim as well, which I must say went harder than any black brim I've ever caught. Would have been about 32, 33 centimetre silvery. But God, it went hard. Now what I want to do is push this fish in a bit shallower. Just don't trust the strength of these hooks. So I'm just trying to take it very, very gently. I don't know how well hooked it is. And I've done a bit of damage to these hooks on the brim today. I lost one point off the treble about 10 minutes ago. So now I'm just trying to ease this fish up. I'm hoping it'll be a good size mulloway. It's a brim, it's the biggest brim ever. <laughs> Just using the Samurai and the Stella 2500. Six pound line, it's not the line that bothers me. A lot of thumps through the, uh, a lot of head shakes I'm getting here. I suggest it's a mulloway for sure. It's not the line that bothers me. It's very much the uh, hooks. I just don't want to straighten them out. I'd love to get this thing in shallow where I could just get a look at it. Get it up out of this deeper water. I might try and... If I could tow it in slowly, that would be nice. That's what I might try and do. Just ease it this way. Haven't seen it yet since it took off. Very different hit to a brim, it was a very slow pick up and almost like it didn't feel the hooks. I was just fishing along a drop off, just upstream from the Calgon Bridge. Never caught a decent Albany Mulloway, so I'm hoping, hoping against hope that, this, that these hooks hold. So far so good, I've had it on for a while. This is anxious times. It's not the line that bothers me, it's just these hooks. I just don't want to do anything that will straighten the hooks out. Lots of head shakes. Oh, it's great fun. I didn't expect this. I haven't seen it yet. Yes, I'm sure it will. Just got to get it in yet. <laughs> I just don't trust these hooks at all. Because I've been bending them and bending them back in the shape and because of the broom fishing. Couldn't do it when I had brand new hooks on, could I? Oh, here you come. I'd love to be able to tow him into somewhere shallow. Just corner him, but he's just sticking to the middle of the river. Not surprisingly. If Mike Rahnfeldt can catch a GT on a little rooster popper, I can do this, surely. <laughs> It's 
Reminds me of when I was catching salmon on this rod. That was hard work. Come on up, 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 slowly, up, 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 not down. Just trying to ease it up now. So it's not the line. Even though it's only six pound braid and eight pound leader, I'm pretty confident that'll hold out under this sort of pressure. It's the, uh, oh, it's very much the hooks. This is valuable fishing time going to going to waste here. I'll we'll try to catch this thing. Just showing no signs of. I'd like to see some colour. How deep's it out here? Now, oh, it's going a bit mad now. How deep would it be out here? It's coming up. Here we are. <laughs> Stoked! Look at that. <laughs> now nah, I'll be right. I'll try and oh, don't like that line in his mouth. He has got. Small teeth. Whew! <laughs> I am stoked with that. Absolutely stoked. Time for a photo.